In this session, we will discuss about Python variable scope. The scope of a variable in Python is the part of the code where it is visible. Let's take a simple example. A equal to 10. I'll write a function def my fun. I'll define another variable here inside the function print a comma b now make a call to the function when we run we get both values note that the print statement inside the function is accessing variables which are outside as well as inside now i want to print the value of a It is printing now I want to print the value of B outside function note that B is defined within the function what would be the behavior print B it is throwing an error name B is not defined that means the variable B is not visible outside function so this is a simple example on variable scope in python also the duration for which a variable is alive is also called lifetime there are uh, different types of variable scopes we will discuss one by one first we will start with local scope let's take the same example in this code we defined variable b in the function inside function so b is local to this function hence we can do read write on this variable inside this function only but not outside of it when we try to access the variable b outside of this function it throws an error that we noticed it so when we try to access it outside of this function it has thrown an error so this behavior is called local scope so hope you understood let's talk about global scope in the above code we have also declared a variable a which is outside of any function so in this example a is outside of the function you have seen that this can be accessible both outside of the function and inside of the function without any restrictions this can be treated as global scope so a is in global scope a variable with global scope can be read write anywhere in the program now let's go with another example a equal to 1 i'll write another function test and here I'll try to modify value of a so I will assign 2 then print a method is over make the function call if you execute it prints 2 now let's print value of a outside the function print a Now, if you notice outside function value of a is 1 but inside function value of a is 2 why does this happen it's supposed to print 2 even when we make call outside because the value of a has been modified inside the function let's understand the behavior here this is because when we set a to 2 inside the function it created a local variable called a in the local scope of the test function it does not change anything for global variable a that's why we are getting value 2 when we print inside function 
and value 1 outside function. Now, what if we want to change? So let's say that um, this function, I mean, if inside the function, if we make any value assignments, that should be retained even for the global variables. How can we do that? We can use global keyword in Python for this. So modify this behavior here. We have to add global a. Let's execute and see the result. Now we are getting two even making a call outside of the function. We declare that the variable a we are going to use in this function is from the global scope. This is what exactly happened here. After this, whenever we make a reference to a inside test function, the interpreter knows that we are talking about global a. There is nothing like local variable a here. So we are giving a notification to the interpreter saying that it is a global reference. So now any changes we do thereafter will directly reflect on the global variable here. That's why even when we make a call outside of this function, the value has been retained with variable a. Let's go with another simple example. So here I am going with uh, nested functions. So function f1. I have a variable a here and I am going to define another function inside function 1. Function f1. f2. I will define another variable called b. Inside this function, I am printing both variables a, b. So this function is over. I am calling the function 2 and printing variable b here. So this function is over. So let's make a call to f1. So what exactly happening? It is throwing error. So now let's understand this. A is in local scope with F1 function. But it is non-local to F2 function. It is visible inside a method. At the same time, b is local to f2 function but not visible outside of this function. When we try to access outside is this function, it is throwing an error. So that's the reason we were getting error. Now let's remove this because b is local. The error is gone. We can see the result. So in this case, B has local scope in F2 function and A has non-local scope in F2 function. So a Python variable that is not global or local, which is called non-local. In this case, A, okay, when we take A, when you refer A, within the scope of f2 function this is neither local nor global right so in the scope of f2 the variable a is non-local okay so you cannot refer a as local or global within the scope of f2 function it is called non-local in python 
This is called enclosing scope. What if I want to change value of a inside function f2? What kind of behavior we are going to see? In the previous example, we have seen how to modify a global variable's value inside a function scope. Here it is global, but when it comes inside function 2, a is a non local variable okay so the behavior is going to be same when you modify anything a inside this method the value will be reflected as long as in the function scope that is f2 when you try to print outside of this function it will again back to its original value that is 1 here right now similar to above example we need to define non local a then whatever operations or whatever changes we do inside this method scope will be reflected even outside let's print so now we can see that a value has been changed to 3 So this is all about Python variable script. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel.